I'm assuming by now you've heard about artificial intelligence and lately it has been all over the place. Well, in this video and educators, I am looking at you. I'm going to show you how you can use artificial intelligence or AI to create assessments. Stick around. All right, welcome back. My name is Dr. Dan Krinas. I'm an educator, a digital learning coach, and the host of the Leader of Learning podcast. And as I teased at the beginning of this video, AI is everywhere these days. Artificial intelligence is here, and it's likely here to stay. What I wanna do in this video is to show you how you, especially my educator friends, can use artificial intelligence to create assessments. AI will help you make assessments and can drastically reduce the amount of time you spend planning and preparing for teaching. This tool is called Conquer.ai and it's made by the folks at Mote, M-O-T-E. If you don't know that tool, well, I'm gonna have a video coming out real soon to show you that, but it's basically a platform in which you can provide audio feedback to students through uh, Google Docs or other Google Apps, even Google Classroom, and it is an amazing feedback and formative assessment tool. But we're here to talk about Conquer.ai, and I'd like to show you. All right, so here we are in Conquer, or at Conquer.ai slash create. Again, this is from the makers of Moat, and it is really powerful and just a really amazing tool. So. When you're on the first page, it asks you, what do you want to do? And by default, it's set here to quiz. You could also change it to fill in the blank or reading comprehension. So depending on uh, the type of assessment that you want to generate, you can always change that. You can change the number of questions. You can change from multiple choice to true, false. I'm actually going to go ahead and ask it to come up with a, a quiz for 10 questions rather than five. So I'm gonna ask it to create a quiz with 10 multiple choice questions. And I'm gonna change this for now to grade three. The reason for that is I have a daughter who's in grade three and uh, she's been, since we're in the month of February here, she's been studying for Black History Month um, and, and reporting on the biography of, of and the life of Kobe Bryant. So uh, I'm gonna create a quiz with 10 multiple choice questions for grade three students about, and I'll type in here, Kobe Bryant. So uh, it gives you some examples here that you could try, like Marie Curie, Capital City, Giant Sequoia Trees. But uh, because my daughter has been studying about Kobe Bryant, I want to create a quiz. Again, we have a couple different options with 10 multiple choice. We had some different options there. I'm going to keep it on multiple choice rather than true, false. You can choose any grade level. And here I'm going to type in and select Kobe Bryant. And when I hit generate, let's see what happens. It obviously takes a few seconds and it goes question by question. So you see here it's generating question one, where was Kobe Bryant born? Number two was how old was Kobe Bryant when, oh, it's going so fast. Uh, how old was Kobe Bryant when he retired? So here, this is actually going pretty quick. We're already up to generating question nine and I did not fast forward or jump ahead in this video at all. I wish I was timing this, but I would have to say that uh, probably that took, what, 20 seconds maybe to generate all 10 of those questions. And you could see that um, it came up with 10 questions. We'll review the questions here in a minute. And for each of those questions, it came up with four possible answer choices. And then it highlights in green with a check mark which of those uh, four answer choices is the correct answer choice. And then if you really want, you can go ahead and validate the answer with Google search. And then a new window pops up with the article or the resource that can validate that that's the correct answer. So here we have question one, where was Kobe born? Number two, like I said, how old was Kobe when he retired? Number three, what was Kobe Bryant's jersey number, which may be a little bit of a trick question because if you're a basketball fan, you know he wore a couple of them, but I only see the one correct answer here, 24. Uh, I believe he also wore number eight. How many championship rings did Kobe Bryant win? 
What team did he play for during his entire NBA career? Uh, and so on and so forth until you get to question 10. What award did Kobe win in 2018 for his short animated film called Dear Basketball? So um, again, you know, keep in mind that this quiz was meant to give to third graders. I think it did a pretty good job. It's not uh, terribly wordy, terribly difficult. I think it's um, well done, you know, in terms of the age appropriateness for a third grader. But I want to go back for just a minute as well. So, so far, pretty easy process to generate a quiz on Kobe Bryant or really any famous person or popular topic or historical event or location. But what I want to show you is down here, there's a link called use my own source material. So, so far, I have just set some very easy, very general parameters to create a quiz with 10 multiple choice questions for grade three about, and I typed in Kobe Bryant. But if we want to use our own material, so in other words, uh, you've given your students an article to read or some resource to check out that has text in it, you can paste in that text, give your quiz a title, and then it'll generate it directly from that text. So it won't be quite as ambiguous as just scouring the web for information on Kobe Bryant or whoever, whatever you're making the quiz on. Now you can see here coming soon is to actually paste in a URL and then ultimately coming soon also is where you can upload a file. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and ask Conquer AI again to create a quiz on Kobe Bryant, but this time I've actually copied and I'm going to paste in some information that was in a Britannica article on Kobe Bryant. So here is all of the text that I copied and you can see here there's a maximum of 800 words. I'm coming in just underneath that at 773. But again, um, I'm, I'm guessing that Conquer AI will generate probably a, a little bit more of a specific uh, quiz than the one that I've already asked it to generate with the 10 questions. This time, uh, I didn't necessarily get to specify the type of questions and the amount of questions. So let's see what happens when I click generate. All right, you can see that the text that I pasted in shows up here on the left. And uh, it's generating question one. Remember when I asked it to generate those 10 multiple choice questions, it really didn't take very long. It looks like it's taking a little bit longer here. So I might have to kind of skip ahead in the video a little bit, but I'll let you know when, once I come back how long it took. All right, we're back and our questions have been generated. I told you I'd let you know how long it took. I would say probably, and I wasn't timing it really carefully, but it probably only took about a minute to a minute and a half. And I, I'm thinking that the reason why is because instead of scouring the internet and generating questions uh, through the AI, uh, it, it actually took you know, 800, almost 800 words of text that I, I pasted in here that shows up on the left-hand side of the screen to actually generate those questions. I'm also noticing that while the questions are really good, it only came up with five of them. However, uh, on the right-hand side of the screen here, you can click a button that says add a new question, but that's just for manually entering a question yourself. And so I think uh, the option to uh, create your own quiz from your own source material is a really good one and the questions seem great it's a it's a powerful way for the ai to generate the assessment but you do probably lack a little bit of the customization and the functionality of just having it create its own where you can uh, set the question type and, and tell it how many questions that you want the assessment to be for. But all in all, I've been really impressed with how this new assessment AI generating tool and platform can be, how powerful it is, as well as how much time it could potentially save us educators when it comes to creating assessments for our students.
But like I said at the beginning of this video, think that it can save my educator friends so much time planning and preparing. Let me know down in the comments below if you've tried this before. I'm assuming you might not have yet, so if not, let me know how you see yourself using this tool in the future for your classroom and with your students. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, and I've linked a couple more videos here that you might wanna check out just in case you're really interested in learning more. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and like this video and hit the subscribe button so that you're subscribed to my channel and you get more of this great content from me in the future. Thanks.